it's our fourth day back from break and I'm so sorry I didn't finish out the vlog yesterday ended up having an appointment after school and then when I got home I just wanted to collapse I did not have lunch bunch book club yesterday because we're going to start a new book next week I was honestly kind of tired I just kind of needed a break for this week to kind of get back in the swing of things and since we have been working on assessments and report cards and things like that I just kind of wanted some downtime during lunch <laughs> so we'll start a new book next week and I've been trying to alternate like like a more challenging book and then an easier book and then now I'm going to like a write on grade level book so that way I can get a variety of students in my book clubs so I've already sent out to the teachers which book I've chosen for the next group unfortunately the last group never got to finish their book because we had snow days and we didn't have our last day but I can't really go back and do it over so I just need to have them turn the books in because those actually belong to one of the teachers so I'm sure she would like her books back <laughs> okay I will bid you adieu for now and I'll talk to you later hi it's lunch time I just got back to my room. I'm heating up some food and I am very close to being done with reading testing. Yes. So I have one student and I need to finish up another one and I am done. Yes. So excited. Whew. So we did not actually start chapter five today because I thought, you know what? I'd start one lesson today and then we wouldn't do it again until Monday. So we're going to start it on Monday and just get started and keep going. So it's gonna be fine. They've been doing a lot of review math activities while I've been testing, so that's been good. And I found a snowman page where they had to add or subtract, and then they had to color pieces of it to match their answers. So then you can check it very easily. And they're doing a pretty good job, but some of it's a little tricky for them. Also, I found a number search thing where they had to write the answers to the facts on one side of the page. And on the other side, it was like a word search, but with numbers, you had to find the three numbers together, then circle those, and then put the addition sign and the equal sign in between the numbers to make the number sentence. So that was really good. It was kind of challenging for them. So it made them think a little bit. Most everyone is done with that, and a lot of them are done with the snowman and then they're reading for AR so they can kind of catch up on their points. And I've got all the information I need now <laughs> to do their goals. So I can have their reading goal set for Monday. I can have my new reading groups formatted and formed and ready to go on Monday. And that's gonna be really good. Okay, my food just beeped, so I'm going to get it out of the microwave and eat. But this afternoon should be good. Um, the reading kids will not be pulled today. I forgot that the teacher that teaches them is going to be gone. So I have them extra time, yay. So we'll have a little more time to do AR reading and also to do some science and social studies. So yay. All right, I will talk to you later. I totally forgot to show you my outfit. It was a whole week. So I'm wearing a red long sleeve shirt today. I have this cover up thing that I've worn before but I didn't get to show you when I wore it before either. I have some earrings that match, a headband. I have a red sparkly ring. I have Buffalo plaid shoes, <laughs> gray pants, and then I'll show you this. This thing is pretty cool. So it goes down a little. You can kind of see. It's almost like a cardigan, but it's made out of a really thin, stretchy material. It's very comfortable and not so hot to wear over something because it's not super, super cold today. Okay, now I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Good afternoon. So I'm headed home now. It's a little after four. I meant to leave a little earlier, but I started talking with one of my teenies about some testing and stuff like that. And we just got to talking about things. And I went, oh snap, I need to get out of here. See you tomorrow. <laughs> so I grabbed my stuff and jumped out of there. But today was really good. Got a lot done. I finished my testing. Yes. So I got all of my reading testing finished. So I have new reading levels for everyone. So we can start fresh on Monday with newly formed reading groups. I got everyone's AR goal set so they have new fresh flowers to grow. They were so excited. I did that while they were there. So I got the goals ready and I said, okay guys, I just need to put in a number and then push save and then your flowers will be reset. And so I'll tell you when they are. And some of them were on their iPads at the time taking a quiz. I said, you can check your new flower in a minute. I said, okay, everybody's in. You'll have new goals now. And they went on and they went, Miss Vaughn, it doesn't say anything. It says no goal set. And I said, oh, you probably need to refresh. So click on your bookshelf 
and then go back to your progress and it should show up. And so when they did that, their new flower appeared. It was so exciting. I don't know if I mentioned that, I think I may have, that I have another high school helper coming, which is going to be awesome. So I have one that comes. They have two different, they have like school color days. So like one school color day, one comes, and the other school color day, the other one comes. So say if it's red and blue, on a red day I'd have this person, on a blue day I'd have this person. So it's kind of cool that they're opposite each other. And they're also opposite times of the day. So my one that I've had for since the beginning of the year comes in the morning during math time. And this other one will come in the afternoon during reading group time, which that's amazing. I cannot wait. And she's very sweet, just like the other one. They're two nice, sweet high school girls that are going to come help us in our classroom. So I asked her if she would be interested in um, just kind of working with a small group each time. And she's like, sure, whatever you want to do. And the cool thing is that she'll be there after we've had a chance to get settled into our group time. Because we'll come in from recess, we'll have a restroom break, and then they'll get started reading for AR, and they'll be settled by the time she comes in, so that's going to be nice. I told her that I would have a little basket made for her that has what she'll do with the students each day, and I thought I'd make a list of groups for her, and she could just pick the group she wants to work with each time, and just work with a different group each time. And I can have different activities, like in Ziploc bags, marked by which group they're for, so she can just grab that activity and do that with them. So I would like her to start working on some phonics skills with them. Because all of them could do something. Even the high kids could do something. So she can work on, even with the high kids, vocabulary. I mean, that would be good. So there's all kinds of things that we could do. Which is going to be great. we having like another set of hands. It's going to be awesome. So I'm very excited about that. That's just, it's, it'll be a little bit of work for me, but it'll be worth it. Because it'll be another like intervention kind of thing just right level for them. Can you tell it's so overcast today? Like normally I turn the lights off and I have like the fireplace from YouTube on my big projector board and I had it on today and I went and flipped the lights off and the kids all went, Mrs. Bond, we can't see. And I went, oh my goodness, it is very dark in here. Boy, because it was really dark outside so I didn't get any sunlight. Sorry guys, and I wish I could have a dimmer on my lights, that would be really nice. But we have two light switches and one controls, like we have double lights on the panels. So one switch controls one set of lights and the other switch controls the other set of lights. So I only ever have one set of lights on all day anyway, because it's just too harsh to have all of them on. But I wish that we could have like dimmer switches so we could turn the level down even on that one set of lights, that'd be great. Having the low light is very calming, but you know, it's okay, we survived. Now this afternoon, um, since the sun was at a different point in the sky, we could see better, <laughs> which was really good. It was down lower so we could see it better, it was coming into our window. So I did turn the lights off during reading, like our afternoon reading time, well, that was nice. A big chunk of my students got to go to the library this afternoon, that was good. Some of them were a little disappointed because we only had an hour and we had a, an intruder drill this afternoon. So that cut into some of our library time. So I was going to send kids right when the library opened, but that was when the intruder drill was supposed to start. I'm like, I am not going to have kids out in the hallway when they say, find the nearest classroom or whatever, whatever it is they say. So I was waiting and waiting like, yeah, we'll go to the library in a little bit. <laughs> I was kind of stalling a little bit so that nobody was out of my room during the intruder drill because it's we're supposed to lock our doors and stay in the room so I didn't want anybody to be a wandering nomad during that time and freak out or anything although I mean realistically if you ever had heaven forbid someone enter your building that wasn't supposed to be there there will probably be kids out in the hallway somebody might be in the restroom I try to avoid that during the drills because they're already a little on edge. A few of the kids were like this, and I said, it's just a practice, just a practice, don't worry. It won't take very long either, and they'll let us know when we can open our door again. So my door is always locked, always, 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 without fail. So that's why I always take my keys with me when I leave my room, <laughs> so I don't lock myself out. But that's why I have that little rubber stoppy thing from Amazon. I put it in the bottom of the door frame. 
and then it keeps the door open just a crack so that my door is mostly closed for a sound barrier but it's open if kids go to the bathroom they can get back in but then if we have like a stranger drill like that then I just pull the stop behind and shut the door I don't think I mentioned because I didn't vlog over Christmas that Jeremy Michael Book sent me a shirt one of his personal creations from I think it's Michael Ken Designs. Um, I'll put the name of it down here just in case because I may be totally off my rocker and not seeing it right at all. But he had worn a snow day shirt recently, like within the last few weeks. And uh, it's I think it says, this is my snow day shirt or something. It's really cute. And I was like, oh, I really like your shirt. He posted it on Instagram or something. And I was like, I commented, I really like your shirt. And he's like, oh, okay. So he sent me an, a message and he goes, what size do you wear? And I was like, Okay, I sent it, and he goes, okay, your shirt's on the way, and I went, what? Oh my gosh, thank you. So he even sent me a tracking number. He goes, hey, did you get your shirt? It says it was delivered. Well, he sent it to my P.O. box, and <coughs> I had checked my P.O. box recently, like the other day, but it hadn't come yet, so I need to check that, but the last few days, I just haven't been able to get there. So today, Caitlin's leaving to go back to Kansas, and I told her I'd come right home, and then I I laid inch around. I didn't pay attention to the time, so I'm trying to hoof it back home real fast. I told her I'd be home by 4.30, which I still will be, but I had planned to go by my P.O. box to check for that shirt because we're supposed to have snow this weekend, so I may need that shirt. <laughs> so I guess I might have to just get it tomorrow. It's gone. But, so it's overcast and gloomy looking. We're supposed to have a lot of rain like tonight and tomorrow, and then Saturday we're supposed to get some snow maybe some ice but then on Sunday the temperature is supposed to be like I think in the 50s again something like that upper 40s or low 50s there was no way if we even had snow that we're gonna keep it so that probably shoots any possibility of a snow day <laughs> but it's still kind of early in the whole winter process we generally tend to have our snow days later in the winter anyway like February and March I shouldn't be wanting a snow day already. We just went back to school, but you know, we're just tired. And everybody loves a snow day, except probably the people that have to clear the parking lots, which are the custodians, I found out. <sighs> so they don't like snow days so much because they still have to come in. All in all, I would say today was a very good day, very productive day. I'm so happy I got my testing done. Tomorrow I need to email all of the report cards to the families, and I hope that I can do that right because we have this computerized system where you can email parents through this portal thing or something. My paranoia lies in sending the wrong report card to the wrong family. That would be a nightmare. So I'm going to like double, triple, quadruple check myself before I push send. So I need to do that. Send off those. It shouldn't be a big deal. We're trying electronic this time. Usually we send them home in an envelope. Now those that don't have an email or their email doesn't work or it comes back or whatever, or if they request it, we'll send a paper copy home. But I never really thought about how much paper that would take because our grade card is like three pages. So it's a, a front and a back on another page. But times 20 times four, you just send it home four times a year. That's a lot of paper. And that's just my class. Multiply that by how many, we have seven teachers in second grade and seven teachers in uh, first grade and eight teachers in kindergarten. And that's just our building. That's a lot of paper. Yeah. And I don't know what parents do with the report card when we send it home. I don't know. I don't remember what I did with Caitlin's report cards when she got them. I would look at them. I think I kept them. Probably somewhere. But yeah. Yeah, I kept them with her report school papers, I think. Well, I am almost home. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I'll catch you again in the morning. Good morning, happy Friday. So I had the wrong date yesterday, I realized, <laughs> because today's the 10th. So yesterday would have been the 9th, not the 8th. Wow, still not good at reading the calendar, apparently, after being gone on break. <laughs> so today is our fifth day back from break, and we have yet to have a completely normal day, but that is okay, because I had to finish up little bits of testing here and there for report cards, and to form new reading groups and intervention groups. <laughs> We've just been doing all kinds of stuff. So 
today we have our terrific kid assembly and good citizen and if you're not familiar with those terms the Kiwanis Club here sponsors a program called Terrific Kid and we choose one student who is modeling our character traits that we've been teaching each week so we're working on safety right now so students that are modeling being safe we choose from them they get to be in my classroom they get to be the leader they get to sit at my VIP table they're my right hand helper they get to do extra special things they get put in charge of kind of um, deciding if we're, our line looks good enough to go down the hallway or not they lead us everywhere and they get to stand up when their name is called and stand in front of everyone and be recognized at our assemblies then the good citizen is a student who is chosen for the month for that character trait so a student who has exemplified that character trait for the month so they are chosen toward the end of the previous month so today we are celebrating december good citizen and december terrific kids which we only had two <laughs> because we had such a short week we didn't get to have another one which is fine so my terrific kid this week is the same one that i had that last week that we were at school before we went on break because we only had a day and a half of school so that kind of would have cheated them so they got to be terrific kid for a week and a day and a half which i'm not really sure they got to do much of anything that day and a half anyway because it was crunch time and we were trying to get it all in <laughs> it's 7 14 and i am going to be at school at a good time today i need to send my reading levels to my instructional coach. I intended to do that last night and I just was so tired. I kept falling asleep on the couch. I gave up. I'm like, nope, it isn't happening. I have no energy left. <laughs> so that will happen this morning. I also need to email all of the report cards to the parents today. They're due by the end of the day today. So that will happen today as well. Then I need to switch over my jobs for next week have a new terrific kid chosen I got my newsletter done yesterday and printed ready to hand out today so yay and my new terrific kid is on that and the student that I chose was gone yesterday so I hope they're back today so they can see their name on the newsletter that's how they find out I don't announce it I let them read their name in the newsletter and the other students if they get the newsletter before that person they're sworn to silence until that person sees their name because it's more fun to read your own name than for people to tell you. It kind of spoils the surprise. Oh, let's see. We're going to be doing some review activities for math. And we have ketchup and pickles time this morning. Right after we come back from library. So, students can catch up on iReady Minutes, AR, and any materials, work, whatever that they didn't finish through the week. And then, when they're finished with all of that, they can go on an iPad with a partner and do Epic or Prodigy. We don't have enough iPads. We're not one to one. We're one to two or two to one, however you want to do it. Two kids per iPad. So they have to partner up if they're going to do that. I'm sure I have plenty of students that have some things they need to catch up on. It is incredibly foggy this morning. Wowzers. I feel like I'm in London. <laughs> Oh gosh, so okay, I didn't miss my turn. Okay, I have to enter the highway now. So today's gonna be a good day. At the end of the day, we have our PLC meeting and we're going to be forming new math intervention groups that start up Monday. So we've already looked at the data that we took on our kiddos. So we're using our iReady data for that, our diagnostic. And we already put the kids into groups. And now what we need to do is kind of even out the amount of students per group and then assign teachers to that group and decide what we're going to work on with them. So like if they if they scored, they need number sets help, numbers and operations, then we'll have a starting point of where to go with them. So that will be the end of the day today. At lunchtime today, we have a special luncheon for our preschool teachers who are just about to move into their brand new early childhood center. It's done. They have been working feverishly since the last week of school in December to move all of their things over, get their classrooms ready, and be prepared to start next week. So that's exciting. So we're having a special luncheon as a send off to them and a big thank you for being part of our family in our building. You won't see them very much anymore except at meetings, but they'll just be across the road 
we'll drive past them every day. The building looks beautiful. I have not been inside yet. We haven't had like a school tour, but I'm sure that's coming up sometime. That's what we did when we came to this building. So I'm excited about that. But the building was built very much in the style of our building so that they went together because they do go together. So we love our preschool teachers. They are giving those kids those foundational skills to enter kindergarten and be successful. I think I'm going to go for now because like I said, it's very foggy and I will have to catch up with you at the end of the day because I'm going to go to that luncheon as a send off for our preschool teachers. So I won't be able to log at lunch and after my meeting, I can tell you how everything turned out. So I'll talk to you then. Good morning, I thought I'd show you my outfit and then I'm gonna get to work before the kids come. Okay, so I have these fringy earrings that came from Amazon. I have this headband that came from Amy Lemons via Amazon. The shirt from Amazon. <laughs> the pants are from Walmart. The boots are from Maurice's. Hope you have a great day. Ah, hello. So it's like 10 till six. I got caught up in a conversation about just various things with one of my teammates. And I did not intend to stay this late, but here I am. And as you can see, it's raining like crazy outside and since we had an assembly today we were supposed to kind of park away from the closer parking spots so i'm way over <laughs> in a different spot and i had to walk 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 and of course did i have my umbrella with me no i did not do i have one in my classroom uh-huh but did i get it no so i'm wearing the rain whatever but one good thing happened so i had a whole bunch of stuff laminated today and it fits across my little um, tote thing really nicely. So that kept everything in my tote dry, except for me, of course. If I'd been in the tote, I would've been dry too. But oh well, I don't care. I'm wet, I'm going home. We're gonna have pizza, probably watch a movie or TV, and uh, probably fall asleep on the couch per usual. Nothing super exciting happening over the weekend other than some planning for some intervention groups, finishing up my lesson plans. Um, we're supposed to have a big snowstorm coming through, which won't amount to anything for school on Monday because Sunday is gonna be a lot warmer and anything we get tomorrow will probably just melt all off. So I don't have any like thoughts at all of having a snow day. If we did have a snow day, it would be like a miracle. So yeah, I need to swing by the post office and see if my shirt is in my box. So I think I'm gonna do that. Even though it's gross out, I just wanna do it because I'm not leaving my house tomorrow. Not at all. I have hot cocoa. I have my kitties. I have my husband. We got some food. We'll be fine. So I'm going to head there to the post office. And if I get my shirt, I'll show it to you so you can see it. But otherwise, this will be goodbye for the week. And I'll catch you back again on Monday.